A United States missile tracking station was established at Grand Turk in 1952. And ten years later, Major John Glenn was brought here after completing the first American manned space flight. The Queen and Prince Philip were shown models of rockets and space capsules as they toured the station. At a reception in the gardens of Government House, the royal couple talked informally with some of the guests. Fishing is an important occupation in the Turks and Caicos Islands, and at South Caicos, the Queen and Prince Philip watch the lobster catch being brought in and prepared for market. Donkey race provided one of the highlights of the stay in South Caicos. But you can never rely on a donkey, even on a royal occasion. The winner was Willie Boy, and the Queen and Prince Philip spent some time after the race talking to the competitors. A fleet of graceful Caicos sloops ended a memorable day when they saluted the royal guests as they returned to Britannia. The Bahamas, with their white coral sands, lagoons and brilliant sea colours, have long been known as a holiday paradise. At Nassau, the Governor Sir Ralph Grey, with Lady Grey and the Premier Sir Roland Simonette, welcomed the Queen and Prince Philip. The Bahamas police force formed a guard of honour and then the Queen walked through a dense crowd of Bahamians and tourists on her way across Rawson Square. Outside the legislature, the Premier presented her with a gold galleon paperweight, a gift which had been on display several days before her visit. In Clifford Park, scouts and guides gave a display. There were gymnastics too, and police dogs showed their paces through the obstacle course. At the Princess Margaret Hospital, the Queen and Prince Philip visited a number of wards and took a keen interest in the welfare of the young patients in the children's ward. Early children's home, they sang two songs specially for the royal visitors. The home, which was opened in 1956, is for orphans and other children in need of care. And the Queen and Prince Philip spent some time talking to children and staff. No visitor to the Bahamas could miss riding in a Surrey. And just for one day, this Surrey became a royal coach as it drove the Queen to the Bahama Rama display. This exhibition was specially mounted so that the Queen and Prince Philip could see in a small space some aspects of Bahamian life, which they would not have time to see in reality during their short stay. 